have a lot of hot girls to sleep with, but they don't want a relationship with them because living with a difficult person is a freaking nightmare. Hi guys, welcome back. So now I'm gonna do the, finally, the, and I spent the whole last video just explain, explaining what was I gonna do, but I needed to give some background first of all. So now I'm gonna do a commentary, a, I'm gonna do a reaction video today to, that's funny, because I'm, I'm a new follower of this guy, but uh, there's other guys that, I, that I'm a big fan of. Uh, channels that talk a lot about modern women and whatnot and and all these new ideologies and I am so excited to come into those videos as well because that is just that is mind-blowing but I don't know something just told me this is a video that I'm gonna start commenting on because it's a I don't know a good way of starting this conversation and it's a uh, because he's commenting on this other girl who has his account and talks about these things. Most most people that I have followed so far are men, and it's it's more the men trying to explain their views, right? And it's rare when you have the girl just you know backing up the man's ideas. Because now these girls that go ahead and become content creators, they are usually uh, trying to get popularity, and the way of getting popularity is. You know agreeing with what everybody else wants to hear which is something that i i hate i hate when just you just tell people what they want to hear and you're just being such a hypocrite or maybe they're not maybe they do believe that too but those are the ones that become uh popular while the rest of us who are actually speaking over here you know talking truth like we get ignored by the algorithm we get ignored because people don't want to hear like boring truth and shit and they want to be up in fantasy land let's start with this video shall we and recording I really wonder when did she post her dress? Walk to the coffee pot, find the mystery she said. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. A married woman by the name of Allie just went viral on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter for explaining how to marry a high value man. It seems like the video got um, taken down or something because I followed her account and I wanted to, you know, just comment directly on the video from her account. But the follow-up questions don't show up and then I just realized that was a repost from a different account that was banned. So I'm gonna look in more into that, see what happened. It was real simple. Someone just asked her, right? They were recording her and they asked her, hey, I noticed you have a nice ring on your finger. How did you um, get the man that you have? And the reason it went viral wasn't because um, they were taking notes. It was because they didn't like what she had to say. All right, guys, no more wasting time. Let's get it. Hey, Ali, show me your ring. My husband. <laughs> and how did, you, how did you get that awesome job? Good answer. Well, I became a better human being and I became feminine and also shocking submissive so that was the secret so what are your tips to women that want to be a housewife do you embrace it it's an actual job you just can't get it in the public or private sector like you need you need a man to hire you for it but that's mm. okay because if you think about it you submit to your boss who makes you clean stupid shelves at your retail job right like wouldn't it be better if you were cleaning your own shelves at home you know what i mean and your and your boss wants to see with you in a good way in a good way <laughs> Well, I think women should work for the men that they want to pursue. I know that sounds crazy, but it's really easy. So if you think about it, like you want a lawyer, right? So then you should be a paralegal. Or if you want a dentist, then you should be a dental hygienist. But these are considered, I guess, high, high value status professions. But I think that's a really good model that not enough women utilize. Because women will bully the woman who is the secretary that married the doctor, okay? But who has the last class? Like her in her McMansion with her husband who's by <laughs> and the baby. Like that's that's who has last laugh. <laughs> now you guys know that pissed all these modern women off. This coffee smells like <laughs> shit. I know it did. I know it did because the 
comments in response to what she had to say were crazy, right? But instead of me reading them, um, I'm going to let Allie respond to these comments because she had time. Guys, Allie is also a YouTuber. You okay, so, um, yeah, that's a good tip. I like how, I, I don't... I, I don't know how old this video is. Uh, like I said, um, she now has a channel where she, I don't know, she made this channel based off of this video going viral where she just probably thought like, oh, here's potential, right? Um, but yeah, she's, she's a very smart woman. She talks a lot of about these topics and gives advice to women on how to, how to catch a man. And, and, and that's true. One thing I do want to say is that I see there's a lot of like really hot sexy well I don't, I don't i don't actually watch this media a lot but what i have come across uh with is dude that like, you see these really hot girls talking about like uh try to say things that are with the intention of empowering women and empowering modern women and you even see like the ugly ones too or the not so attractive ones and this is the thing most women obviously if you're an attractive woman and you're saying these things uh, people because they find you charming, they find you hot, they find you whatever, something about you just makes them want to follow you, your lifestyle, whatever. People start looking up to these, these kinds of people, you know, like, like the Kardashians, dude. Why? Why do people look up to them? I don't get it. Like, what about them is so special? What I was going to say was that most humans, are like them they're they're not there's nothing like genuinely special about them in the sense that they just their their morals are just not okay because they're you can tell that they will do just about anything for money pretty much another video um, okay mm -hmm. you can go check her out at the real femme sapient pinned at the top of the comments too she was a feature in the channel past let's get to it ellie how do you feel about the women that are saying this is heartbreakingly sad <laughs> i mean i don't know i get my back blown out regularly i am fully paid for survival i have my own economy uh, i also do my own work so like i just don't see what's wrong you like this coffee but they can ask themselves whether they're single if they want <laughs> So, Allie, another comment is being a feminine and submissive women shouldn't have to change for men to like them. This is ridiculous. I mean, that's the same type of woman that's going to say that a man should change everything about himself to be a viable partner. So, oh. they're just, Come on, they're preach. Just hypocrites, so. Preach, Allie, let's Allie, go. so they're saying that you should... Yeah, that is so true. Like, people that say these kinds of comments is because usually, um, it's funny how they're the single ones. So, think about this. Who do you want to listen to? Do you want to listen to a bunch of freaking hot, bitter models out there that are what happened? That are like just talking shit because they're single and like yeah, there's no way they are the problem because they're hot. They're hot. Men are missing out on this hotness, and there's has absolutely nothing to do with who they are on the inside. And let me tell you something, most men like, most men, especially hot, good looking men, um, are able to get a lot of, a lot of hot girls to sleep with, but they don't want a relationship with them because living with a difficult person is a freaking nightmare. Nobody wants to do that. Why would they do that to themselves when, you know, why buy the cow when you can get the milk for free pretty much? Babies. Oh, you mean almost baby that you probably flower. I did ask for them though. <laughs> to be fair. I mean, be the most. I gotta tell you, you're the most beautiful, wonderful man in the world. The most valuable, valuable. <laughs> my flowers for my husband. To be worried from being fired, from being a housewife one day and having a gap in employment. I would love to be a stay at home mom, but I'm too scared to trust them that much. Well, yeah. If you want to work for the rest of your natural born life, you can continue to be afraid of depending on men. Right? And uh, again, I, I do my own work as well, so don't understand these women. Allie, this girl says that she prays you find yourself and become confident in, in yourself rather than needing to be submissive. Sad. Tell her that I'd like to find myself on top of my hand. So, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Men want to know where can they find a woman, a woman like you? 
Oh, I mean, I'm a statistical anomaly, but for the most part, you can find good, wholesome women away from the cities and in the country, especially if they come from a two-parent household. Is there, like, places they can look? Yeah, the entire Midwest. All that. <laughs> So, do you think like like churches like what like what like specific places can we go to to meet women? Church is a complicated thing because it's produced a lot of beta type males, but I would say that there are feminine women in church. Just have to be careful that they're not delusional. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Great, great responses. Allie, what do you say to yes. the comments that say this stuff? Women back great, great 50 years. <laughs> I don't. I don't think so because women 50 years ago were a lot thinner. <laughs> 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 Ellie, what do you say to the women? I don't really like that. So sense. sad. So sad. I don't see how it's sad. What I think is sad is shaming a woman for being married to someone that she wants to be married to. Like, why are you mad? Ellie, they want to yeah. know, is this a joke? I hate They're it. confused. <laughs> it's not a joke. They just don't understand it. It's like people, instead of trying to understand something that's new to them, they would rather demonize it. But we do that all over American culture. But you guys are welcome to send me an email and drop some questions. It's Allie at realfemsapien.com. I'm happy to do breakdowns. I promise the men are not evil. The thing is, though, is that most men can't do for you what my husband does for me. Right? But if you want to find somebody who does that, let me know. Listen okay. to Allie. They said being afraid is a valid fear. Ooh. I was a stay-at-home mom, and after divorce, I got nothing. It's the scariest thing. Yeah, but if you choose to live in fear, you're constantly living in scarcity. And so, you know, I would challenge yes, you. Yes. If you got divorced and you got nothing, why not try again at romance and try and see if you can do better? That's better than being alone. You want to know how yeah. you feel about letting your husband cheat. Okay, so the PC answer is that if he does step out, that's a reflection upon myself because I am most likely not putting out or I've given up on my looks. My real answer is, you know, uh, as long as I don't know, I can't be mad, can I? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Um, a lot of women definitely let themselves go while they're married or in a relationship, and that's something that I, I honestly don't understand why, uh, why that happens. I mean, I guess I do understand to an extent because there was a little time where I was uh, so uh, involved, I was so stressed out with school, and I had to work, and we were really struggling at the beginning of when we first moved in. I thought I was eating healthy, I just didn't know the first thing about nutrition, I didn't know the first thing about my macros, I wasn't as active, I neglected, my, I wasn't exercising regularly anymore. What was I gonna say? He didn't care at all that uh, I had gained weight. As a matter of fact, he would never even bring it up or tell me. Which I'm telling that that's wrong. You, you should have told me that I was gaining weight. Don't spare my feelings. <laughs> spare my health. <laughs> I always want to feel visually attracted to to my man, to my husband, and that's so important to never let yourself go. Number one and number two. So they feel like something is lacking in that relation they're they're missing something so they they'll seek that somewhere else many times that happens they're more likely to cheat on you because of how you are versus cheat on you because of just because of how you look but they actually love who you are if they adore who you are if they absolutely they're very unlikely they'll cheat on you very very unlikely Allie, what'd you say <laughs> if i was saying is that people think that i'm hard on single people and it's like look like nobody likes being single you go to work you come home to nobody some people don't even have a dog and if men don't like being single and men like to have sex more get him Allie. Well, obviously women hate being single more i really think she did this video before she started her account because in her account she talks a lot about uh, like interesting things were like really thought out and right here she's I really, I really thought she was just a normal person being asked these things. And she does mention the real, maybe she did this with a purpose, to trigger people. Definitely, I, I also don't buy the fact that people, that people like being single. People may say they like being single because they don't, they don't want to come into terms. They want to like feel like it's okay because they're obviously don't have another choice and they've been single for a while. So they want to, you know, brainwash convince themselves that they're okay with being single but the truth is that they're 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 not and they're just telling themselves that so that they can feel better about themselves but yeah being single is, is not is not fun there's always better to have like having a partner in life having a, a team player a husband a, a lover like that's I feel like that's the ultimate happiness like there's no luxury or amount of money in this world that can really buy what you know true love with what a loving partner can really do for you 
everybody that I know that like they have everything, the friends, the lifestyle, the, the money, the job, but they don't have the partner. They, I, I can see it. I can see that they're, they're not happy people. They're, they're, that's that very fundamental aspect of their lives missing. And they're, they're sad. They're still sad. And they, that nothing fulfills that. Nothing. Husband isn't my boss. There is no need to be submissive. You're a team. I understand where they're coming from. But these same women don't understand that oftentimes they'll put their husbands on the back burner for like an actual boss in real life that they have to submit to. Mm -hmm. And they constantly ask their husbands to modify their lives for that. Meanwhile, the dude is forgotten. He's absolutely sexless. He's just feeding him out of the microwave. Sex. That's the problem. If you can work and love your man equally, you want to talk about equalism, right? If you can do that, then good. But most women can't. Most women can't even push the power button on an air fryer. Allie, yeah. what is this? The 1950s? No, it's 2022, and I get this point a lot. This dumb argument. By the way, probably for somebody who wasn't even in that era. The difference between 2022 and 1950 is that in 1950, you were prescribed to be a housewife. In 2022, you get to choose, but guess what? Exercise choice, and they have all these freedoms. Um, it's just so funny that women try to put down the women who decide, hey, you know what? I actually want to depend on a man or submit to my man, right? It's like the same women who fight for equal opportunity for women um, put down the women who exercise that freedom of choice to be submissive to a man. Listen, I don't see anything wrong with this. Ali shared how she got her high value man. The only women who are upset are the women who are watching her succeed and flourish for making the right decisions. <laughs> As mm. always, man, I'm curious to know what you guys thought of. Yeah, definitely. Um, I agree. I just feel like people are stuck on the word submissive. And I feel like she used that uh, with intent to uh, to trigger to trigger people. Um, we're going to be talking more about a modern woman versus conservative women and you know just the difference and why what <laughs> being one it's better than the other for the other one for the sake of having a healthy relationship and how like men that like a lot of these a lot of these uh amazing uh content creators they always talk about how uh their, their valued men how valued men want modern uh how valued men uh, don't want modern, modern women. They appreciate the value of women, conservative values, and not feminist, pretty much. Uh, we're gonna be talking about that, and I just have really good points to make about that, because uh, a lot of people that know me or think they know me, they would they would think of me as a as a modern type of woman, as a as a liberal type of woman, but um. Uh, I may seem like that in my personality, but I'm really none of those. Um, I'm, 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 I have very conservative beliefs. This is the best way to really have a more productive society, the best way of raising your kids, the best way of treating others. Of it's, it's just, It just feels right in so many ways. And, and it's just absolutely nothing to do with, uh, with religion or religious beliefs or going to heaven or any of that. <laughs> Um, okay, so follow, follow, subscribe, uh, comment if you have any questions about this, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next. Pretty soon, I'm considering starting a podcast with my husband to talk about these topics because these are very interesting topics. They interest me a lot, and I really feel like I can help a lot of women that um, and men and men who are struggling with understanding relationships, keeping relationships and they don't know and trust me when i tell you i was in that boat i was one of those people that i really thought i was going to be single forever and actually i think a lot of people thought i was going to be single forever everybody is a lot of people feel like amazed and maybe like even mad that like i actually got married and they're not married it's a very very simple reason for that you know and that's because i chose to be humble and I chose to work on myself and I cho chose to have these moral uh, principles and these views where I prioritize and I, I understand my role in society 
my feminine role in society and I understand and I re have respect for the masculine role for men in society as well and I understand and respect my husband and his role in 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 my life and his role in our relationship and I value that a lot and I show that and, and, and I believe in a lot of different things like communication and respect and all those things. They will be talking about my channel. So don't make, make sure to follow, subscribe, don't miss out. So yeah, see you guys in the next video.